Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening. Today we will try to solve all the important questions related to chapter six. The chapter, the unit name uh, is Ulashim. That's mean transportations, transportation things like plane, car, train, some things like that. We'll learn how uh, we will deal with the important things in the airport. Uh, for example, when we decide to take ticket to travel from country to country, city to another, doesn't matter. What the important things we must follow it, what, uh, in which section we must be careful, okay? Let's start from section A. We'll do this in travel, traffic the same. Hava or Bugun Hava Nassel, he or she asking about the weather. Siyahat ile ilgili something related to that travel. Ulaşım araçları, that's mean transportation vehicles. Mevsim uh, seasons. We will uh, try to learn how we can use these few ads. Tatil holiday, ulaşım transportation. Hava durumu, the weather situation. Let's start. Here's some important questions. We will try to think about uh, the answer. Okuldan sonra nereye gideceksin? After graduating from the school, what you will do? Or sonra nereye? When you will, uh, where you will do? Where, uh, sorry, where, where you will go? I'm sorry, after graduation from, after graduate from the school. En çok hangi ulaşım aracını kullanıyorsunuz? What is the most transportation vehicle you use it? Hangi mevsimi seviyorsun? Which season you like it? Here, uh, this paragraph, that's mean let's hear, that's mean we will focus, we will, yes, we will focus, we will try to uh, know all the important things, the most important things in this audio, but at first, let me go directly to learn a simple grammar, and after that, you can use it in this paragraph. Arach, that's mean a tree. Arach takikush, that's mean the pear who is in the tree. Araba deki bebek, that's mean the kid who is in the car. Orman daki ev, the house, the house inside the forest. That means something like the, but it's stronger than. In my language, anyone can speak Arabic or his or her mother language is Arabic. That will be easier to them. Why? Because in my language, we say a lady. It has another meaning some different between my language and English. In Turkish, we say neyse, that's mean, so let's keep going. Araç deki kuş, that's me, or araba deki bebek, the child, the kid who is in the car. Park taki salonacaklara bindim. Here at first, let's take a look to this box. Ducky, at first, we have important uh, note. At the last, to all of these four kinds, we will just write I in all of these different situations. It's important. The difference will be here at uh, these four letters. That's dependent on which vowel letter we're dealing with. 
at the first two situation. And after that, if we have one of these letters, prospect chip, D will convert automatically to be T to be techy or techy like that. Okay. Here, let's go ahead. Par techy salonajaculare in I wrote the swing who it's in the park. Here it's important grammar here. It's not easy, but it's important. So because Turkish people use it too, too, too much. Sandalian deki jan takimin. Who this bag, uh, how I can say, translate it correctly. This bag, this thing, or how, how, how, or we can say whose bag is on your chair, on this chair. I mean, I'm focused, not on any package, any bag. I'm focused in this bag, who it was in this chair. Shu pastana sindaki, bogachlar nefis. Nefis does mean delicious. Shu pastana sindaki, bogachlar. Bogachlar does mean pastress. I'm talking about the pastress who, who the pastress inside this shop, not any pastress. I need this pastress in this pastane, in this cake shop. Her hafta sonu karşısındaki balık çidan, yes, balık alıyoruz. I'm taking fish from this fisher each weekend. But in which fisher? The fisher who is in the front of, yes, in the front of something, Karashisandaki, Balak, yes, in the front of this uh, fisher. Turkiyenin Güneyindeki Denizina Deni. Uh, he talking about, he wondering about the sea's name, but who sea he talking about? Talking about the sea in the south of Turkey. Ankara'ndaki, Ankara'ndaki evi. Evimiz İzmir'indeki evimizden geniş. Talking about something like difference, compression between the house in Ankara and the house in Izmir. By that, our house in the Ankara is bigger than the house who is in the Izmir. İstanbul'undaki müzeleri gezdin. Müze, that means museum. You visited the museum who is in the Istanbul. Tavaktaki yemeye bite. Bite. That's me near its order pair. You must do that. We don't have situation. We don't have options. That's me. We will finish the food which is in the plate. Annem elindeki poşette bana verdi. Mom, give me the package who it was in her hand. Masanındaki bardaya ben kirdim. I broke the glass who it was in the table, not any glass. Here we have something as important. 
important simple rule you must note it massa for example here why we have n delta n and after that the and after that i wrote q here i have vowel letter at the last that's mean i no way i can't put another vowel letter after it that's mean i must put another letter to prevent the two vowel letter beside each other because that we put n here we are putting n to be masanun and after that i can put the appropriate add to be like masanun daki istanbulun daki and keep them here we will use it but with some difference simple difference here akşam ki yarın ki sabah ki dünkü bugünkü akşam that's mean night yarın tomorrow sabah morning dün today bugün uh, dün day bugün today as we now will talk about specific time tomorrow today yesterday Akşam ki film güzel miydi? He wondering about this movie. It was good or not, but in which movie? The movie who is showed in the yesterday, uh, in the night, sorry, not dün, akşam. Akşam ki film güzel miydi? Was it good? He talking about the movie, night movie. Oğleden sonraki ders gelecek misin? Are you will come to the class who is will be after the noon? Dünkü gazeteleri okudun mu? Are you, did you read the yesterday's ne newspaper bugün ki filme gitmek istemiyorum i don't want to go to the movie who is today or today's movie i don't want to go to today's movie yarın ki şenlikte hangi sanatçılar var ha sanatçılar Sanatçı, that mean artist. <coughs> Yarın ki şenlikte hangi sanatçılar var? About what? About, for example, the movie, the theorist, the tomorrow's movie, tomorrow's festival. Now let's come back to our paragraph to make it be easier then. Now we learned what that mean, what all of this mean, how we can use it. Now let's keep going. Türk Hava Yolları ne? That's mean Turkish airline. TK 737, Sefer Sayılı, Sefer that's mean number, Sayılı trip, Ankara uçağını, it's uçak, that's mean plane, but we convert K to Mushrage because it has a vowel letter after it. You welcome in the Turkish airline. Number, trip. Okay. Sayın yolcularımız, our respect customers. Uçayınızdaki emniyat kurallarını size anlatmak istiyorum. Estiyoruz. <coughs> what that's mean? Emniyat, sorry. Emniyat kuralları. The safety rules in our plan. She wanted to explain the safety rules in this plan. Sefer Sayle 737. 
Here, uchamuzdaki. That means she was talking about them plan, not any plan, not any trouble, not any number. Onundeki koltuğun cebinde güvenlik kartını bulacaksınız. At, at your behind chair, you will find at this at its package you will find card security card or card can explain to you the important rules in this plan lütfen kemerinize your belt kurallarını uygun şekilde bağlayın please use or connect your belts properly in satisfied situation. <clears throat> Cep telefonlarınızı kapattınız. Close your phones. Ya da or uçuş modu, e, moduna alınız. Or put your phone in the airplane, airplane mode. In English we say put. In Turkish we use al or almak. Uçayınızda altı adet acil çıkış kapısı vardır. In our plan, we have six emergency doors. Acil inişlerde to fast landing, to emergency landing. Uçayı kapılardaki kaydır, kaydıraklardan, sorry, terk ediniz. <gülüyor> Here in the plan, um, uh, from the slides, we have something in this slides, in these slides. The most important thing, when she talk about the Guvenlik Karte or uh, security belts, it's very important in the plan. You must understand she talking about what? about the oxygen, how we, you can use it, about the emergency doors. Cabin bakıcındaki değişiklikte some change, yes, change. Oh, she, she talking about the emergency doors. She was talking about the emergency doors and don't do a chaos and the seat. Başınızın üstündeki kap uh, kapaklar açılacak. <coughs> yes. Near from, near from your or behind your faces will, will open some doors, why, let's say why, the oxygen maskeleri ortaya çıkacaktır. And you will see, or we can say, the oxygen mask, masks will drop, will come out. Önce kendi maskenizi, at first, your masks, sonra, Çocuğunuzun ki, çocuğunuzun ki ne takınız. After that, wear your kids. Herhangi bir tehlike anında at any, how I can say, danger moment, üzerindeki sivri cisimler ve topuklu ayakkabınızı or this uh, çıkarınız ha. take she was talking about, about the emergencies emergency situation about the mask how we can use it at first you must use it for yourself and after that your kids 
Dikkatiniz için teşekkür eder. Thank you to your understanding. Thank you to your attention. İyi bir uçuş dileriz. Have a good flight. Now let's try to answer this, these questions below. Güvenlik kartı nerede? Nerede? Güvenlik kartı yolcuların onundaki koltuğun cebinde. Uçakta kaç adet acil çıkış kapısı var? Altı adet çıkış kapısı var. Yolcular acil inişlerde uçağı nereden terk edecekler? Yolcular acil inişlerde uçağı kaydıra kaydıla what kaydıraklardan edecekler. Oksijen maskeleri hangi durumunda ortaya çıkacak? Oksijen maskeleri bir tehlike anında ortaya çıkacak. Çıkacaktır. We can use uh, verb to be to make the sentence be stronger. Now, inceleyelim. Something like we will use simple possessive pronouns. For example, benim will be benimki, like senin, seninki, like your, yours, mine, önünki, bizimki, sizinki, That means instead of saying your pencil, I can say yours. Instead of saying my pencil, I can say mine. The same situation, but in Turkish language, but with these five pronouns. Let's start. Benimin, benim telefonun cebimde, Ahmet'in telefonu elinde. Benim telefonum cebimde, Ahmet'in ki elinde. <coughs> What the author did? Here instead say Ahmet'in telefonu. Just say Ahmet and after that vowel or delta N ki. To say like my car, mine. Your car, yours. Bu silgi, eraser, benim. That's mean bu benimki. Huh, that's it. <coughs> Senin silgin nerede? Bu silgi benim. Seninki nerede? That's it. Benim kelimim. My pencil. Mine. Benimki. Ali'nin kitabı. Ali'ninki. Huh, that's it. Bizim oğlumuz doktor. Sizin oğlunuz ne iş yapıyor? Bizim oğlumuz doktor. Sizinki ne iş yapıyor? Instead of oğlunuz. Huh, that's it. Sizin anahtarınız burada. Burada. Ömer'in anahtarı nerede? I can say Ömer'in ki nerede? That's it. Her key or his key. Doesn't matter. Senin yazın çok güzel, kardeşinin yazısı de güzel mi? Önünki de güzel mi? Kardeşininki de güzel mi? Benim odamda koltuk var, onun odasında koltuk yok. Benim odamda koltuk var, onundaki yok. Instead of say, onun odasında. His or her room. Here, dinleyelim. That means we have another audio. We must listen to it. Dinleyelim, tamamlayalım. Filiz, saç, that means hair. Kızıl, that means red. I know, always we say kırmızı. But here the situation is different. When we are talking about the hair, We will say kızıl. Goz, mavi, blue. Boy, 168 cm. Kilo, 89 kilogram. That means 59. 
Eğitim, education, mezun üniversite, graduates from university, meslek, lawyer, avukat. Now let's take who was talking about Phyllis. Now let's talk about Mehmet. <clears throat> Sarge siyah, black, goose kahveringi, boy, 178, 178 kilo, uh, 78 kilo, AETM, Mezun University, Meslek Öğretmen. Now let's we will do simple compression between them. Filizin saçları kizil, Mehmet'in ki kahverengi. Instead of say, Mehmet'in saç saçları. It's easier to say and to write. Filizin gözleri mavi. Mehmet'in ki kahverengi. Filizin boyu 168 santim. Mehmet'in ki 178. Filizin kilosu 59 kilo. Mehmet'in ki 78 kilo. Instead of saying Mehmet'in kilosu. Okay. Filizin mesleği avukat. Mehmet'in ki öğretmen. Mehmet'in mesleği. Here it's important. We must take at first to this column and after that try to solve all of this. Questions below. Hangi uçuşlar iptal oldu? Kahire, Nobel ve Hamburg uçuşları iptal oldu. Kahire, which one? This one, the first one. Açıklama, that's mean explanation. Iptal, cancel. Gideceği yer, the place for the plane will go to it, Kapedo Saatay. That's it. Los Angeles, Los Angeles, Ochae, Sat Kashta Kalakajak, Los Angeles, Ochae, Sat, on beer, on Kalakajak, on beer, on here, Los Angeles, that's it. We will go in which time this plane will, it will go, sorry. Take a 645 sayılı uçak nereye uçacak? Sayılı uçak Soraya Paşa uçacak. I don't know another country but with strange name. Saat 10.55'te hangi uçak kalkacak? Saat 10.55'te Tahran kalkacak. Um, now okuyalım. Let's read. Canlındıralım. Let's review or something like that. Uçakta and the plan. Here, this girl <coughs> who is working in the plan will ask the visitors, the travelers, about what you will drink, if you need some help, if you need something. Okay? İçecek bir şey ister misiniz? Would you like to drink something? Evet, bir bardak soğuk su istiyor. Yes, I want one of cold water. One, uh, a glass of cold water. Yes. Tabii ki boyun. Yes. <coughs> You're welcome, Pante. <coughs> İniş sırasında during the, the leaving the plane. Türk Hava Yolları'nı seçtiğiniz için teşekkür ederiz. Thank you because you selected the Turkish airline. Yolcularım keyifliydi. It was a good, it was enjoyable. Yardımlarınız için teşekkür ederim. The customer said to them, yes, thank you. İyi günler, goodbye. Mehmet. Merhaba Ahmet, merhaba Murat. Türkiye'ye hoş geldiniz. Yok, Türkiye'ye hoş bulduk. Teşekkür ederim. Uçayın röter mi? Röter resmin değil. Delayed. Delayed. Uçayın röter mi yaptı? Any delay to your plan? Biraz geç kaldın. 
you are late a bit, which I means kırk beş dakika, <coughs> dakika, geçik meyli kalktı. Uçayınız neden röter yaptı? Why uçayınız neden röter yaptı? Why was your plane delayed? Çünkü biz çok kalabalık traffic, it was crowded. Pilot, that means pilot, diğer uçakların kalkmasını bekledi. The pilot was or waited another plane to take off. Yolcuyun nasıl geçti? Yolculuğun nasıl geçti? Rahatlı. What about your travel in in your plane? All your travel, it was good or not? Rahate, it was good, comfortable. Siyahat firmasını, uh, the travel company, uh, company, hizmetlerinden memnun kaldım. I'm very pleased from the service in the travel company. Şimdi dinleye, dinlemeye ihtiyacım var. I need the rest. Öylese so seni oteline getir, uh, götürüyorum. Götüreyelim. Sorry, götüreyim. Late me, not let. Let me take you to the hotel to take rest. Here you must write a paragraph like me, like that, by using all of these six words to prevent your skills and writing pronunciation speaking all of these related with how much you do you do in practice every day rotar daily emniyat kuralları the emniyat kuralları that's mean uh, the safety rules pilot pilot passport passport but with another s in the spelling uçuş flight hostess hostess the same cabin cabin uçak plane Uçuş mudu, flight mood, airplane mood, doesn't matter. Kanat wing, emniyat kemeri, safety belt, çıkış kapası, exit door. That, that's it today. Thank you about your listening, your watching. Have a nice day. See you in the next lecture. We'll be talking up about section B in the same chapter 6. That's it.